Last year, between our three facilities, which are in St. Charles, Lake County, and then in Rockford, we had over 10,000 volunteers that provided over 55,000 volunteer hours, which is just a huge number for us. Volunteer manager Tia Milne says the Northern Illinois Food Bank relies on the generous spirit of our many volunteers, and she knows how dedicated they are. It's wonderful to see how committed our volunteers are. They'll come out here in the freezing cold weather and drive through snowstorms to be here for their volunteer shift. Their time spent here saved the food bank over $1 million in labor costs last year. Volunteer Supervisor Tony Eck has been with us for over 10 years because... I just have a need to give back to the community, so I found this as a good place to do that. Tony started out as a regular volunteer, and after a while he was actually approached to see if he would want to become a volunteer supervisor. They help lead our volunteer groups, and he really um, has a knack for working with people and just make sure that they realize before they leave how much they're really helping to feed hungry people through coming to volunteer here. Volunteers help out in various ways. Some help in our food recovery route, where they pick up meat from local stores. So grocery stores have certain code dates that they have to follow, and up until a few years ago they would actually have to throw this meat away. Now the meat is brought back to the food bank, and last year we were able to save over 2 million pounds of meat uh, from going into the dumpster, and instead of going into the dumpster it was actually given to hungry people. Once it gets here, volunteers inspect it to make sure there are no tears in the packaging or other reasons it can't be consumed. Volunteers also help out here at the warehouse. This is primarily where we utilize most of our volunteers. Volunteers can do anything from labeling cans to boxing cereal to assembling holiday meal boxes during the holiday months. Food is inspected here to make sure there aren't any dents in the cans or tears in the packaging and that it's still within its use by date. It also gets cleaned and then it's sent down a conveyor belt so that volunteers can separate it based on its category, including vegetables, canned proteins, and mixed grains. When it's all stacked up, it will be ready for distribution. Volunteers can see exactly what they're doing and who they're helping because they're able to see that this particular pallet started out empty at the beginning of the shift, and then by the end of the shift they may have processed eight pallets of food, so now that food is ready to go out to hungry people instead of sitting here in our warehouse waiting for people to work with it. Tony talked about how he feels after a shift here at the food bank. I feel really good about myself and about the other people who work with me. So how can you get involved? Anyone interested in volunteering at the food bank should go to our website. And on the website, we have information on the different volunteer opportunities at each one of our locations. And big or small, the food bank can accommodate your crowd. We can take an individual or we can take a group of up to 100 people.